Hey guys, welcome to another uh, maths tutorial. Uh, this tutorial you're going to learn how to do a uh, question similar to the one presented here. Um, so the question is, John throws a rugby ball across the field. The height reached by the ball is modeled by the equation y equals negative 0.4x squared plus 2.4x plus 1.4 where y is the height in meters reached by the ball and x is the time in seconds. So I'll let you guys have a go uh, at, this, at these three questions. Uh, once you have had a go then you can come back and see what the answer is. Okay, so Question A, what was the initial height of the ball when it was released? So the word initial means in the beginning. So in the beginning means when the time is zero, which means when x is equal to zero. Right, because x is the time in seconds. So when x is equal to zero, y equals negative 0 0.4 times zero squared plus 2.4 times 0 plus 1.4 so y is just equal to 1.4 meters so that is the initial height of the ball when it was released question B how long did the ball stay in the air for well firstly I will illustrate to you the answer using Graphmatica and you can see here that this is the equation of uh, this is the graph of the equation y equals negative 0 0.4x squared plus 2.4x plus 1.4 here's the line representing the y-axis represents the height of the ball and the x-axis represents the time in seconds and you can see that initially the height of the ball is uh, 1.4 and in the end when the ball lands on the ground so when the height is equal to zero uh, basically we want to find out what x equals when the height is equal to zero so basically we want to find when y is equal to zero when the height is equal to zero what's x okay so let's solve the equation uh, 0 equals negative 0 0.4 x squared plus 2.4 x plus 1.4 and uh, unfortunately it's not easily factorized so we'll have to use the quadratic equation so the quadratic equation states that x is equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a so we got uh, a is the number in front of x squared which is negative 0 0.4 b is 2.4 and c is 1.4 since uh, when we have y equals ax squared plus bx plus c a is uh, the number in front of x squared, b is the number in front of x, and c is the number at the end. So putting these numbers into our equation, I have negative 2.4 plus minus square root of 2.4 squared minus 4 times negative 0 0.4 times 1.4 over 2 times negative 0.4. So putting these numbers in the calculator, I have negative 2.4 plus or minus the square root of uh, 2.4 squared uh, minus 4 times negative 0 0.4 times 1.4. And the answer is 8. So inside the square root, we have 8. 
over 2 times negative 0 0.4, well that's negative 0 0.8. So putting that in the calculator, uh, we have uh, negative, uh, hang on, so we have negative 2.4 plus the square root square root of 8 and then divided by negative 0 0.8 so we have negative 0 0.53 which is the first x-intercept and we already know that's not going to happen because well we simply can't have a negative uh, number for the time or uh, we can try um, negative oops negative 2.4 minus the square root of 8 and then divided by negative 0 0.8 and the answer is 6.53 which sounds more like it seconds so that is obviously the answer x equals 6.53 seconds let's have a look at our graph and the ball does indeed land when the time is 6.54 seconds okay so uh, which is right according to the calculator 6.5 Three, five, so that should be 6.54 excuse the rounding error um, rounded to two decimal places and uh, question C well basically we want to know the maximum height reached by the ball so we want the turning point of the graph we want the turning point where this is located. Now when we have an equation in the form of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, the turning point actually occurs at x equals negative b over 2a. So that is a shortcut compared to completing the square this will be a lot quicker so uh, we have uh, y equals negative 0 0.4 x squared plus 2.4 x plus 1.4 so b is 2.4 and a is negative 0 0.4 so turning point occurs at x equals negative 2.4 over 2 times negative 0 0.4 so putting that in the calculator negative 2.4 over bracket 2 times negative 0 0.4 the answer is 3 so x is equal to 3 and let's check that on our uh, on our Graphmatica and the turning point is indeed x equals 3. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you have a better understanding of how to do questions like these. See you next time.